Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me back in the UK and today back at Topaz Detailing for an update on the installation of the paint protection film on my McLaren Senna. The new Shmi Mobil is just about ready to be completed. Now we're going to go inside in a moment, catch up with Nabil and see the progress that's been made and the final parts of the process itself as well being finished off before I come back again soon to pick the car up. But naturally, given the weather right now, which you will notice is rather significantly worse than where I've been filming recently. It is very cold and in fact it is actually snowing right now, hence why I've driven here in the Heritage Focus RS with the winter tyres and the four-wheel drive system. Not like the Senna behind with semi-slicks. He says what car's coming? It's a Ferrari, it's a Speciale being driven out in the snow. This is just crazy right now. So the Senna's nice cars everywhere, mine is inside. Let's go in and check it out and see how they're getting along as well as later on going to see what's going on in the new unit. There are some very exciting things in action over there, but for now, I'm rather chilly. I apologise for any snowdrops that are on the lens. I can't really beat that with this weather, but you will notice behind me there are some very nice cars at the moment waiting to go into the detailing workshop and then to get paint protection film. The likes of the Senna, the new Portofino, the Aventador SVJ, but I'm going to come straight through to find Nabil to head inside to have a complete update on this car. The colours, look at this, we've got some skittles going on and a half right now, but in here it will be significantly warmer. The fun thing is, you can see the car right there through the window, but let's head on in then. Hey, Neville. Do you need a towel? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit cold and wet out there. How are you? Good, honey. Are you all right? Very nice to How see you. you. Okay? It's good, and it just got even better. Look at this, the MSO Cerulean Blue. I can't say that phrase enough times. <laughs> this car is looking magnificent. It's looking good, huh? It has. You've had it for a couple of weeks. It's been yep. detailed. Yep. It's pretty much completed. Nearly, we've got a couple of pieces to do. Uh, we've still got quality control to do. Of course. We've got a couple of pieces of film that would seem to go on, uh, and then at last tidied up. And then once okay. that's done, we're going to put a ceramic coating on top, and then it's ready to rock and roll. And it's going to look even better. But right now, yeah. just, just a quick glance for me, because I've always got to, I've got to take it in. You know, I haven't seen the car for a couple of weeks. It's my, yeah. my new baby after no, all. Exactly. The colour under your lighting in here is looking beautiful. The highs to the lows in the colour, the blue carbon. Can't get enough of the blue carbon. The and it's really nice, isn't it? It's got a really nice flex to it. That's what I, I like mean, it's, it's basically my favourite colour in the world. And yeah, <laughs> that's why it's worn on this car. Oh, and man. so everything has film. All yeah, of these. Has film. Yeah, so, so I'd like to just say one thing. Yeah. When, when we first um, obviously saw this car, uh, we were like, okay, this is going to be a complex car to do. Yes, just a bit. But when <laughs> just actually, a little bit, taking when, it. <laughs> just a little bit. But when you actually go into the details and start talking to the installers and people are putting it on day to day, you really realize how much intricate detail yeah. there is, from, especially from a design perspective. Mm -hmm. I mean, to give you an idea, I, I, I've asked uh, Magda, who was working on the car, who did the yeah. car, uh, I asked her, what was the most complex part you thought on this car? And she said the spoiler was number one. The spoiler? Yeah, okay, spoiler so being number one. The, the like complex. any particular part of it, or just the fact that there are Do multiple you, layers and, and the underneath and the end plates? It, it's all that. Yeah? <laughs> it's literally all that. The issue is that you have one massive piece that goes there, mm -hmm. right? The, way across. So because of, wait, hold on. Because of the yeah. way the spoiler is mounted from the swan neck arm above, yeah. it's one piece on the top and also on the whole of the bottom. Yeah, and then you need them to join somewhere. And yes. And they need to join here the, okay. the front section. So imagine but so, so you have to get like the most seamless join you can. Exactly. And when you have a join you need to make sure they butt up perfectly. But yeah. if you just have them laying flat next to each other and you just do that, it's relatively easy. Yes. But when you have an area that goes like this and it goes down and contours yeah. out <laughs> and then it's also on a bend it's very three-dimensional. <laughs> yeah, I can I can already start to see a bit of that. And what you have to yeah. think about, guys, is that because obviously the way the arrow works on this, this is all super super vulnerable because really stones yeah. are yeah. going to be thrown up from the front wheels, be dragged through the air, yeah. and smack into the wing. Where if you, if you see a car in an air tunnel in the wind tunnel, yeah. when you see the, the, the sort of wind going yeah, yeah. past or that that silhouette, that's where you can get stone trips. So wherever mm -hmm. the wind carries stones, that's where it can go. Essentially, so I've seen I've seen cars where you've had a stone trip. Literally right here. Yeah. And you think to yourself, how? how? That happened. It happens. It's one of yeah. those things. So, yeah, so loads of pieces here, but at the same time, because we want them to be a seamless, we want it to be a seamless fit the finish and a tow by standard finish, mm. it needs to be really perfect when it meets. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that piece alone is, is I think there's a, I think you have one or two pieces there and another seven or eight pieces, all these areas. Yeah, yeah, it's just to get through the around the back. And to get the coverage. 
Yeah, for sure. And I know, because we talked a bit about it before, yeah. we don't put film, or you didn't put film, on yeah. these louvers. No, and the reason for that is because basically the very hot air from the engine comes out of here, yeah. and the film would run the risk of burning and, and bubbling up. If you want PPF barbecue, that's how yeah. you do it. <laughs> yeah, so you, you definitely don't want to put it on there. No, you wouldn't. Um, but all the other parts are all, all completely done, right? All the yeah, exactly. kind of parts around the arches, around well, the front um, wheel wells. Same thing as, as the GT, we've doubled up on, I'll show you here, we've doubled up yeah. on. On the section here, down the okay. section, we've doubled up all the protection here as well. Yeah. And, and if you look from here, look at how many pieces yeah, there are. So, so do you actually do that? Do you do it every like every single all... piece? <laughs> so there, 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 yeah. there, 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 there. Every single piece has film. That's why we talked about before yeah. how complicated this was. And just quickly on the inside, yeah, sure. um, we talked a bit about it, I think, before. Yeah. Interior components. So you have a section here. Yeah, so the whole side still. So and this is a really big one because as you're swinging in, your feet always make a mess of this. Yep. And we've also thought of another bit which is yep. important to have. Some people wear, wear when they're wearing the different kind of jeans, the designer yeah, huh. jeans have a different. Are you, are you about to tell me this has it? It has film on it. No way. Right there, <laughs> okay. All the way through. So you put PPF around the seat edge. Okay, yep. okay. Because this down. is actually really vulnerable because as you slide over, yep. your, your buttons on the back of your trousers or whatever can, can easily exactly. completely That's destroy exactly that. It. And also the same bit over there. Just okay. before, in case, you know, if you're standing, if you, when you're in the car, a watch, whatever it is, or if you're wearing any jewelry, just try to just do, do you know what I'm, I'm just gonna say something for a moment because I haven't seen this car for like well 10 days two weeks and I'm just standing here looking looking inside <laughs> it's really cool <laughs> I can't yeah. wait to go and drive I'm looking at it, right? like, uh, supposed to be filming but actually let me just have a look at this yeah I'm yeah. just enjoying the enjoying the moment I can't wait to get this out roof snorkel as well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. cool yeah, that's a very complex part because it goes around on one yeah, piece you've got all of these all, all the, the way bits. through and then you have the, it wraps around the thing is when you look at this job when in its entirety I mean, even if you look at this piece here we've done the McLaren uh, pieces if you get them from a manufacturer yeah a film manufacturer or whatever it is we download the patterns usually there are three or four pieces yeah this is done in two pieces okay, uh, okay. that's because we're pushing the bar again yeah yeah so fewer again, join lines yeah there's a seam look. down there but if you have a look you can barely see the seam oh yeah you have to go in like you have to try and actually catch the light yeah, completely exactly. on that to see it yeah okay so it's, 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 the human eye from a meter away cannot see that like yeah. where i'm standing holding the video camera i can't see it so um, then, uh, the second most complex part of this car is this section here yeah uh, and that's purely and because you have to be of... leaning over the car to actually do yep. this. <laughs> exactly. So that that puts them straight on their back. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, so the there's there's it. film all around this. Yeah. And it goes wow. around. And this is the bit that's difficult, as you can imagine. I mean, try, have you ever tried to wrap up a football or a basketball? Yeah, it's not much fun. Yeah. I definitely don't make it look that good. Yeah. Well, that's try. It's the same concept as going this way, but then this one you flip yeah. the other way. Okay. So, so so you're really trying to push the the material to its limits. Um, so. Yeah, you really have to know what you're doing. Put it so up. it's pretty much more or less done. Yep. Uh, what what was still to be done? There's one one on one more bit. Yep. So we have this piece now that has to go on. Okay. So this is the last piece that needs to go on now. Okay. So we'll be able um, to see the nose bridge being done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that is going to go all the way around again. It wraps around and all. That's actually quite an important bit. So the way you always press on here to open it. It is. That's where you might risk with your hands scratching it if yeah. the hole is dirty. Yeah. Never the stone tips yeah. and all the kind of defects you can get. But you know, it's one of those things that just you want to make sure that it's it's protected and it also looks good. And yeah. This is, this is the, you're striking the balance when you're doing a, a job like this. Well, it's looking absolutely magnificent. There is, no, there is no other way to describe it. And even just the wrapping of all the edges. I mean, if you have a look at the detail of where we've yeah. wrapped out. It's everything. all very, it's actually very tidy because like there's no obvious joins anywhere. No, there isn't. And here even, I mean, look at the small slither. Of, of mid yeah, you even do that. That's got film as well. <laughs> no way. Yeah, we literally. And I'm just, I'm just going to turn on my uh, camera's torch for a moment, just so you guys can see the quality of the paint in here, and why exactly I love the MSO Cerulean Blue so much. Just look at this color, the metallic flake. It is stunning, and yeah, it's lo looking <laughs> absolutely <laughs> fantastic. The best way to look at it. Right? Yeah. And we are under the lights for it. So this is very nice. I'll. Uh, catch up with some of the process then for fitting the nose bridge piece yeah. and then we'll go check out the new unit and what you've got going on over there exciting so time, exciting time there's some really cool stuff we will go do that in a very very short while stay tuned it is time to have the nose piece or nose bridge piece installed first part of this is to clean the surface um, one round of slip solution that will then get squeegeed off and to basically prepare it as best as possible um, then there'll be another round of slip solution before the uh, film is back rolled and then placed um, onto the nose bridge itself. 
This is where, of course, having the pre-cut templates, the pre-designed templates, make it all very easy because the piece is exactly the right shape and size. Um, it holds loosely in place just by having a small uh, bit of squeegee, squeegeed out uh, solution underneath. This will allow it to then be moved around. Um, and we'll see a little bit of how this goes on, but it should not be too complicated. One important thing, spraying on the top of the film so that when it's then squeegeed, it won't leave any marks actually on the film itself. Um, you can imagine exactly how that would go wrong. And then onto the other solution, the fixed solution, which allows it to be manoeuvred into place, and then it will start to hold uh, from that area. So by squeegeeing out the liquid underneath, effectively sticks it down and marks the position. So it holds down at the, uh, the very, very bottom. And I should point out that Magda is literally the queen of doing centers, <laughs> has done an awful lot of them and knows exactly what's going on. And um, just about every part on the car. This is always the very satisfying bit watching it going from something that looks like a fairly messy kind of liquid overload into a film that sits completely flush on top of the carbon or the painted surface of the car. And you'll have seen a lot of this in more detail in some of the other cars we've done, including the Ford GT quite recently. But the obviously process behind this is what you do around the entirety of the car using those pre-cut templates that we talked more about with the Ford GT. because so the Ford GT was such a, I guess, early uh, days here in the workshop uh, being done in terms of having to actually mould out the car and make sure it was all correct. And then it just comes to going around and, and tidying up all of the edges. Quick wipe down then to remove all of the excess. But then to do the edges, of course a little trick to make access slightly easier to actually open up the nose bridge um, and be able to get straight around it. And of course under there you have the 12 volt socket and some of your fluids. Uh, but now by having this up, all of the edges can be worked and tucked in neatly and you'll see how this piece is going to completely vanish and you'll no longer be able to see that it has film on when all is completed. The magic trick for the edges, a soft glove and a hairdryer to ensure it's done with precision and great care. But you can imagine this has been quite a lengthy process to go around every single part like this from the painted sections to the satin carbon sections to the gloss black sections to the roof snorkel to everything that you can see all of the surfaces the side skirts the kind of, kind of inside bits down here all of those bits we were talking about with Nabil earlier all the tricky areas around the front particularly in here the active aero flaps these flaps which maneuver around at different speed uh, to control airflow through the car even these uh, have film on them as well but it is literally all over the entire car and I actually noticed even the number plate plinth has protection film on it too which is really cool I've said this before in my videos but being in blue carbon as well the removable plinth you can unscrew it from underneath and take that off for additional airflow uh, and aero when you're out on the track for example if you don't need to have your number plate actually on the car and you might also have noticed obviously that the car is currently sitting in its lift up mode so you can put the car down to full race mode or normal mode or raise it all up and have it in lift mode which it basically looks a bit like a 4x4 right now with this complete the massive gap um, when it's down the paintwork comes down to about here so 10 centimeters or so lower which is kind of cool to see as well as doing the the main front part then this side panel also gets done and miraculously that side's already been done you'd have no idea um, and this side is going to be coming up right now just like before then a spray over of slip solution the piece itself has already been back rolled. You can see how the templates make it exactly the right shape and size. And then it just gets lined up with the edges and then the squeegee will be used and then the stick solution to get it held down in place. That is now more or less complete. The nose bridge has its paint protection film installed. It needs to be cleaned and tidied. And then what happens with the entire car is that it gets a quality check from top to bottom to find any areas where there may be uh, air bubbles, any errors with the film, anything that's slightly imperfect because the aim is to make it absolutely spot on. So I'm gonna come back to Topaz in a couple of days time to see the car again and to take officially, I guess, delivery of it where I can take it out to drive on the roads without living in fear of the paintwork getting chipped because at that point it's going to be fully complete coverage paint protection film but for the moment I'm gonna head over to the other unit to catch up with Nabil again because over there big things are happening before we go inside the new unit which is currently being worked on at the moment there's something I'd like to tell you guys about this Porsche KN. now a couple of months ago I came here to Topaz to shoot a video with a Mercedes S-Class S600 Maybach Pullman the incredibly extended amazing land of luxury the ultimate top-end version of an S-Class in the background of that video was this car this KN, which is a car fitted with the new Topaz skin 
it. Now, Topaz skin is a peelable protective film over the entire car. And some of you spotted that this car is actually green. Some of you asked me directly, is it a paint to sample KN? No, this is a black car with the new Topaz skin on it. And of course, we're in the dark here. It's been slightly snowed on and rained on, but mark my words, this looks like a painted car. It is a painted car. It is the new generation, the next generation of paint protection film. It looks absolutely amazing. And you would never know that the car was not this original color. The quality, the reflections are like detailed paintwork, but it has a protective layer over the top. And we're gonna be seeing a lot more of this in the near future too, and how exactly it works. And I very much look forward to sharing and showing you all of that process too. That was the noise of a puffer mante starting up, by the way. Just if I spin the camera around. Oh, don't want to fall over. And there's a GT2 RS. Just nice cars all around everywhere at the moment. So the next generation Topaz skin is here. That is coming. And uh, maybe we'll have some thoughts as to what car I might do in it in the future. Watch this space. Anyway, let's go find Nabil. We're going to have a look inside and how all of this is going to be done. We're now upstairs inside the unit. And in some of the previous videos, we came along to see the construction in action. Yep. But on this new kind of next level to Topaz, yep. it's changed quite significantly. What's yep. going on up here? There's a big elephant in the room, isn't there? There is definitely a big <laughs> elephant. What is going on there? So this is a spray booth. Yep. Uh, so for people who don't know, this is where we apply the new Topaz skin. Uh, and so this is, there's gonna be a lot of teasers, there has been a lot of teasers that we're talking about this. Mm -hmm. This is where the magic's gonna happen. So the cars are gonna come up on the lift yep. that we heard was being installed, yep. big enough to fit an extended Phantom. It is. That was the most exactly. important thing, an extended yeah. wheelbase Phantom. He's gonna be able to come up here on this level and go straight into this booth. After it's been detailed. And, and I've just perhaps slightly incorrectly described Topaz skin, because I yeah. said it's kind of next generation paint protection film, but that's not strictly true. No, it's not. It's a next generation coating. So okay. essentially it's a peelable paint. That's the best yeah. way to describe it and the easiest way to describe it. Um, so you can choose any actual manufacturer of paint. Yeah. Put it on the car. Or make your own. Or make your own custom color. Liveries, or designs. Liveries, designs. Whatever Let your imagination you like. run wild. Crazy, you can go mad with it. You, can, you can come to me and say, oh, I really like the color, this red. Give it to me and I'll be able to and, scan and it. Pattern. Yep. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Okay, okay. That's the crazy thing. And, um, and then once you do that, you spray it on in the spray booth. Mm -hmm. Actually spray it on. So yep. the consistency is perfect. You can get a really clean finish. And then once you're done with it, after a year, two years, three years, it lasts up to five years. I mean, it can last up indefinitely depending on how you yep. look after it. But we say five years, you peel it off. And, and the car just, is good. The car is good. So, it's a different thing to PPF, yeah. but it will protect paint in the way PPF does. It will. It's, it's and it will allow you to have any colour, any design you want. Exactly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> With exactly the same thing. That's what's going yeah, on right it now. It really is. I mean, when you get your head around it, your imagination will just go, oh my god, I can do this and this and this. and You can do your wheels, yeah. any colour you want. Calipers, any colour you want. Tint. Can you like take carbon? Tint carbon. I mean, you can go mad with it. Absolutely okay. mad. So you've just moved things on. That's, that's a bit game changing. Do you know what? It's, we've been working on something like this for many years now, but the product hasn't been right for us. Yep. Uh, we've been spending the last seven months with the manufacturer to really define what the product is to yeah, the yeah. skin, uh, and now it's there. So we're, we're ready for it to, to go out onto the market. So hence why. Yeah, exciting. Back. Very exciting times yeah, ahead. Really, um, really exciting times. I'm really going exciting. to. Uh, kind of try and work out what cars you've got coming in, see if we can film something. And then I'm going to try and work out which one of mine I'm going to do something with. No, what exactly. that's going to be. So, yeah, well, that's the thing. You see my car outside? Yeah, I've, I've just shown it, literally. Yeah, shown oh, really? It okay, so cool, yeah, yeah. The first time that I saw that KN, mm. I, I, you didn't kind of say, you just said, have no, a look at it. No, no, and yeah. I didn't know what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, and you were like, what a cool PTS car. And you're like, yeah. oh, that's really cool. I haven't <laughs> seen that before. And like, yeah, it's jet green, jet green metallic. So it's actually a, a proper color. Okay. That's the nice thing about this product is now yeah. you can actually choose the actual color that you want. It's not like you're using a swatch system where you're like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Matter? you can just say, this I want this. Say so MSO Cerulean Blue. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> Epic. <laughs>
I am very much looking forward to seeing the future with Topaz Skin and you can be sure that I'll be featuring it here on the channel but very exciting times for Nabil, his co-founder Mazin and the team at Topaz. For now though, I've said farewell to the Senna. I'm going to be back here to pick it up when everything is completed. Of course, it's had the full paint protection film now installed but it needs to get the run over for quality control checking and then the interior finished as well to make sure everything is absolutely perfect and then it can be taken out to be driven without fear of stone chips. That is of course the main reason to install PPF to make sure that the paintwork, the MSO Cerulean Blue with the blue carbon and I'm sorry that I say it all the time is going to be kept in the best possible shape especially for the adventures that are ahead this year. When this weather starts getting a little bit nicer it's actually still drizzling even right now. A far cry from the warmth of the Middle East. Anyway that's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching. As always guys I appreciate your support. For now I'm going to jump in the Heritage RS, head back home and I'll catch up with you again very, very soon. Cheers.